ancient times, the Guru was a respected member of society. He was held in very high regard by the whole community. And there was a reason for this. He was of a higher level of evolution, a higher level of consciousness than the others. People traveled long distances to go and visit this Guru and they would come to spend some time in his company. In the case of many Gurus, it was believed that just getting a vision or darshan of the Guru would relieve you from the cycle of birth and death with the advancement of modern technology, with the advancement of telecommunication systems. This has taken a 180 degree U-turn. The pseudo-elite of today who have excelled in their careers and have acquired a certain amount of prestige in society are now looking for a guru and they want the guru to come to them. And there are plenty of gurus in the market who are willing to do that but for a price. Or in the hope of getting connected to a bigger market of clientele to attain success. The successful guru of today comes with a whole team of marketing professionals who use the latest forms of technology to bring in the masses. Their performances are staged, their videos and other media is edited before it comes to the people. And the people are greatly entertained by their one-liners and by their stories. Ever noticed that they all take on a charity and allow taxable incomes from big corporates to come into their pockets? Is it not a surprise then that everyone wants to be a guru today? And yet, when you walk into the ashrams, it is a whole different story. The master of today is in fact a slave. He is not a leader, he is a follower. He is a slave to power. He is a slave to greed. He is a slave to position. He is a slave to attention. He can be bought. And his income comes into millions. Welcome to the Guru of today. Are you still looking for a Guru? Who knows? He may even be willing to come to you at a time and place of your choosing for a price. Namaste. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel.